Hello, everybody. Sorry, I didn't notice the Jim Shard Squirrel dude. Were they player names? Were they? Uh, I, I said, what the hell is that? I did see the 2345. I just didn't understand what it was. Uh, right. So there you go. We've got a we've got a goblin game. We've got goblins and uh, and a pogoer and a loony and a couple of trolls. Uh, thanks to Squirrel Dude. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, oh, wow! What a legend. Yeah, the problem is the uh, the redemptions come up in here. The redemptions come up in here, but um, but I didn't have this open like this. so. What if, this is my in my stream dashboard, redemptions come up, but in my stream labs chatbot that I use almost all of the time because I used Streamlad's chatbot for like six years before Stream Manager uh, dashboard. So um, so that's the problem. Um, so yeah, that that is literally the problem was I just don't look at my chat, <laughs> basically. I don't, um, well, the, how I look at the chat is not, yeah, writing down the paper, yeah, yeah. I just never see anything like, you know, highlight my message and things like that. And title shots, I just, I just literally don't see them, be, well, most of the time, because most of the time I'm looking at Streamlabs chatbot. Hello, Dr. Boogius. Oh, wow. Is this heat or uh, sun? It's one of the two, isn't it? Receive and go for a draw, or kick and try and win with throw teammate. Let's receive and go for a draw. It is heat. This is about the worst uh, Blood Bowl 2 looks, isn't it, with uh, heat. It's a bit bright. Strangely though, still not pure white. Like, as, as bright as this is, it's not pure white, is it? I'm pretty sure this is just really close to pure white and not actually pure white. This looks it. But it's because it's on darker background, but it, this looks brighter than these. And this. It's brighter than this, isn't it? But even when that's highlighted, that might go pure white there, right? Hard to tell. That might be pure white when it's highlighted. Yeah, but it is much more friendly eyes. Yeah, it's ev like everything's softer, isn't it? Everything's like, and even even these are like kind of detailed, aren't they? I mean, they don't look as good. The models definitely don't look as good. They're nowhere near as crisp. But the fact that they're like, the fact that they are a bit blurry, is better for playing the game, isn't it? Can instantly see there's four reserves and non KO'd and non injured, unlike Blood Bowl Three, where there's just a line. And yeah, it's bright. You can see what's happening. I mean, well, not so much bright as light, isn't it? Because bright isn't the same as light. <laughs> like, that's the key thing. Like, Blood Bowl 3 is somehow bright and dark. Whereas this is like... It's light... But, uh, like, you can have light pastel colours, can't you? You don't have to have insane bright colours.
<laughs> yeah. Hallo. Perfect defense, at least these weren't on the line in case of a perfect defense. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's weird how much better the view is in Blood Bowl 3. Like, it really is kind of crazy. You can somehow, yeah. Like, I just... I just I don't know how they did it so bad. I really don't know how they did it so bad. Didn't uh, didn't put a mummy there. I guess would have got chainsawed. Correct to try and blitz with the uh, troll, even if uh, even if I had the block already. Boing. Might as well put a rear on the pick up here. It's quite close to the LOS. You can't get put in an extra hit. Okay. <laughs> I'm concerned though. I've left my headset on. I had my headset on for physical 100 and then <laughs> <I> forgot. <laughs> forgot that that's why I had it on. <laughs> Just so sad. So sad about the Bowl 3. And I knew it, and I didn't know it.
just instant fold icing. Love it. Love the instant fold icing. <laughs> but you know, that's the thing. Individually, like artistically, the models are good, aren't they? It's just they look shit. Because they're like too detailed and it doesn't matter how detailed the models are as long as all you need to be able to do is tell you know that obviously you know that you want them to look nice but all you really have to do is be able to tell them apart oh my god <laughs> this fucking troll all fucking game with a fucking really stupid Another one in nine. <sighs> Fuck me. Yeah, exactly, Calcium. Yeah. Like, that's it. Like, because they did, Benny Bartes, repeatedly by two years. <laughs> More than two years, yeah. And now I guess it's got to the point where they have to release it. To just get anything back. Yeah, but that's I'm the same calcium, you know. I just don't care. Like I really don't care. Do you know what I mean? Like I've I've never been a uh, a breadhead or anything. And like I've never had any ambition or anything and I've I've always been kind of fine with what I've got and haven't really cared about anything like that. And you know, so like while uh while some people may care about the streaming side of it it's just, I just care about Blood Bowl more than anything. You know, like two and a half years ago, there's not crisps. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing with rappers. I've got some rappers. And I was playing with them. Tunnocks Tea Cakes. Not Tunnocks, actually. Uh, what's it called? Uh, they are Tea Cakes, not Tunnocks. They're, uh, they're uh, what are they called? Rinkton's Rinkton's tea cakes. Sometimes when I get my uh, when I get my uh, tea bags, I get tea cakes. Fourth times the charm. Let's go. <laughs> oh, a devastating push! Oh my god. I'm the best blood bowler in the world. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. Jimmy Fantastics. I wish I could buy Jimmy oh. Fantastic chocolate. Wish I, I wish I knew... I wish I knew I knew a Croatian who would buy it for me. <laughs> See you, Kaz. Man, it's brutal, isn't it? Like, like that's it. I just want I just wanted Blood Bowl two to be like Blood Bowl three to be good. I really didn't care that it meant the end of me streaming. Do you know what I mean? Like I just didn't care about that as much as I cared about. Football 3 being a disaster. Literally nobody in the world wanted Blood Bowl 3 to be good more than me. I believe that. I believe that out of everybody 
in the world, which to be fair isn't that many because obviously about 8 billion people don't even know Blood Bowl 3 exists. So there's not many people left that care about it. But I think nobody cared as much as me. So I'm good. Well, because no one's going to fucking watch Enzo. <laughs> No one's going to watch. <laughs> you know. Nobody's going to watch. Alright. Let's go with some kind of maneuverment here. I think this dodge first is good because if it's a 1 in 9 I've still got the screen. And uh, then do the blitz here. Because, again, I've still got the screen if anything goes wrong. Which, of course, it does. This guy's rolled far four ones in five turns. Just unbelievable. I mean, this is the typical Jim plays Goblins game. So, you know, I mean, you could say, scroll do that it's been terrible, that it hasn't been a game at all. But this is typical Jim plays Goblins. I'll have another game. I'll, I'll make another team and give them all names for you. <sighs> yeah. yeah, yeah, Bezel, yep, yeah, loads of good advice. And that's the thing, like, I just wish, like, it's ridiculous, right, because there's people who get thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands to say things for people to listen to them. And, it, do you know what I mean, the, the crazy thing is, it's just, it's, the craziest part is that it's not me, do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, like, I would, uh, I would say that I'm the person best qualified to give, you know, like, advice about Blood Bowl in the whole world, right? But, I, I believe that. You may disagree, that's okay. But the thing is, it doesn't, it, you don't even need that. You just need somebody with eyes and somebody with a normal working brain. Like, it was so easy to not do what they've done. <laughs> you know? Like, they didn't need any kind of an expert whatsoever. They just didn't. Okay. Well, this has ended up pretty okay. Oh, right, he's along. Aha. Uh -huh. We may have made a little mistake there. No problem. I don't know how I'm going to bludgeon through in two turns from here. Because he can swing his whole team around. The tr I, should, I should have moved the troll first. Oh, that was just a mistake. Reading chat and not paying attention. Yeah, well, presumably this guy was, was behind him here or here, so he could have come around him there somehow. That's the thing, but it didn't even need me, you know what I mean? Like, even if I am the best, because, you know, I've got to be up there, right? There's, like, you know, because there's obviously people who, like, understand Blood Bowl deeply. There's a lot of people, like, you know, that are around the top level of understanding Blood Bowl. Now, not to say that there aren't several levels above that, but no one's got a reason to reach that, right? So, as far as the pinnacle of Blood Bowl is, I would say I'm pretty near the top of it. And then you've got, like, the streaming aspect and stuff of, like, what the people want. And then, you know, being in touch with that and stuff and, like, things. So then, obviously, different people then 
would have different things, wouldn't they? Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, Krista is very much in touch with what it would need to create things and stuff. So there's all like there's all that, but then obviously he's not as good at blood bowl as I am. <laughs> no offense, Krista. <laughs> and then you know you've got like you've got various things like having. So all all overall, I'd say I'm pretty much near that peak. And like obviously, then you've got people who are like who would be near that, but then they're just not interested in in helping and stuff, right? There's like there's people who are who maybe just don't care about that and there's people who've you know like haven't got the time and things like that there's all sorts of things and i'm just gonna blitz with him Fuck it, I don't care. this is a terrible decision to blitz with him isn't it uh, not really because it's only a 1d this is pretty good actually blitz with him. like this gives us more if it works So yeah, I just think, I think overall, I think I've got to be up there for, you know, what I could have contributed had I, uh, had Cyanide been even vaguely interested. In anything I have to say. I could have moved this here first. No, I couldn't. Yeah, like obviously, like you know, there's people who like know more about various things, but I don't know. Overall, I think I'm pretty good at knowing things <laughs> and what I could contribute. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I have contributed a lot, obviously. You know, I'm not saying I have contributed a lot. I've contributed pretty much nothing. <laughs> and yes, people like Bezel are amazing. Um, but yeah, like, that's the thing. It didn't need... It didn't need anybody who knew anything. It just literally needed somebody with eyes to say, what the fuck are you doing? Like, some things, you know, like the showing the roster before match... They had in Blood Bowl 1 and Blood Bowl 2. And they didn't have it in Blood Bowl 3 for no reason. And you didn't need... Like, you needed some knowledge of the game to know that, right? You do need some knowledge of the game to know that you have to be able to see the roster of your opponent. You have to be able to see the roster of your opponent, right? You do need some knowledge of the game to know that. But you don't need to be, like, an expert by any definition of the word at all, do you? Like, at all. You don't need to be a games designer or, you know, developer or anything to know that you shouldn't have pure white. Like, you don't need to be, and certainly not Blood Bowl related, but it's not even games related. It's just like, you just need a fucking brain to see that that's insanity. Eyes. Eyes and a brain is all you need to be better than cyanide. Like, what the fuck? Like, actually, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but, like, it's, it's not even that. It's, like, it's strategy, isn't it? The strategy. Like, that's okay, isn't it, the the rosters? Because, like, you know, the, yeah, they do They do just have the names. They don't have the stats. <laughs> you know, normally they just have the names rather than their stats. But, yeah, it's crazy. You're right, dude. Like, even if you just do it, like, you know, FIFA and stuff, you would have that. But, like, for Blood Bowl, it's essential for, like, inducements and everything, right? And knowing what you're facing. But, 
Yeah, even if you're just going off FIFA, you well FIFA, I guess, and Madden, they have the cards now, don't they? They they have the cards now, I guess, because it's all done off cards. But yeah, real sports, a real a real sport just has the names of the players at least, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, but they would at least have the names for sure. Oh, I could have just not had the apple, and then I could have got a bribe. That's how much. That's how little I know about about goblins. I could have had the bribe instead of the apple. Well, one in thirty-six. Let's go. Double one on the arm. Yeah, very rookie. Very rookie mistake from Jim. I mean, at least I identified it during the match, I guess. That's one of the reasons why I don't buy an expert with X kind of arguments because yeah okay there is some nuance in things but like it didn't even take for the half to end before like I realized oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah this is a bit stupid I've done a dumb but like obviously people will be better with things if they play more with them do you know what I mean like obviously PC with you know if you if you if you think of purple chest of how good he is at blood ball and you think of somebody on the same level um, let's say chunter for argument's sake if uh, you know I don't know if either would take offense with that or what they're obviously both very different styles but you could you could think of somebody the same style but the point is if you if you if you say if you approximate Chunter and PC's skill, which some people could, like I wouldn't, but if you did, <laughs> you could still definitely say that Chunter is better at Skaven and PC is better at Dwarves, couldn't you? Do you know what I mean? Like, just based on the fact that how many games they played in that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Benny Bartes, yeah. I mean I cost myself six hundred dollars to play to play a month of uh a month of Battle Brothers. <laughs> and it was worth it. <laughs> and it's worth costing me whatever whatever it's costing me to, you know, miss out on the Blood Bowl three train, right? However much this costs me, it's worth it because it's fucking horrible and I don't want to I don't want to endure it. No, I can't endure it. No, I will for $100 per game, but still. Like, everyone's got a price, haven't they? <laughs> everyone's got a price. <laughs> everyone's a whore in the end. It's just, it's just haggling. <laughs> Nah, no, no, just he's actually got lucky right by three super important players rolling for heat. It's actually a really good result for him. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. 
So when's BB4 out? Not soon enough is the answer. Oh god, I mean just Blood Bowl just isn't for me probably overall, is it? I love Blood Bowl, but Blood Bowl doesn't love me. <sighs> Somehow three players down just due to him. Thanks, Paulus. Thank you very much. Yeah, like that's like you know different. If I was you know stripping or you know co carnage or uh, you know what's it summit one G. They're the only decently big ones, and that stripping isn't that big. I know, but he's he does blood ball sometimes, doesn't he? The, the only decently big streamers I know are Co Carnage and uh, Summit 1G. Well, I guess Amaranth. <laughs> um, and it's kind of different for them, right? Like, they they really wouldn't want to play... You know, if you if you were Summit 1G, you really wouldn't want to play, like, not whatever your top game was, would you? Do you know what I mean? And if you were Amaranth, you really wouldn't want to stop doing bikini streams. <laughs> but... Um, but then they can afford to, right? So, I don't know, maybe, maybe they are bad examples. Maybe it's more somebody like, if you're, uh, you know, maybe, like they could they could totally afford to like just do something a bit mental. But then the, the like, the really small streamers like me, they're not really losing a lot by, by giving it up anyway, are they? So maybe it's people like Strippin who have like got kind of a proper wage but aren't super rich. That are in like the, the most kind of enslaved, if you like, into playing the, the game that they're good at, you know? Like these, you know, you'd be totally trapped if like you were getting a pretty good wage streaming it. You'd be pretty fucking locked in, wouldn't you? Because if you try something else, you don't get enough to live. <laughs> and then, you know, as you've got to play this game, like, no matter what happens, because you, cause you, you, you know, whereas people who have got as much as some at 1G, like, he must be fucking loaded, mustn't he? So he could afford to do something just because he's got so much money. Oh, Jackpot. Yeah, that's a great review. A PC gamer review is is perfect review. Absolute perfect review. That says it all. Yes, side tone, Rick. It's all thanks to all thanks to Squirrel Dude. He wanted this game. I probably I should have tried harder to do commentary and stuff. I should. I should try and do... I used to do good commentary, didn't I, when I started? And now I just sit here and don't say anything and just click the moves on. Oh, yeah, Benny Bartez. I, I'm the same. I, like, I'm definitely just going to put mental health first. Because, like, it should just be, you know... Like, the good thing is that I'm not losing that much by losing... Like, I, I am not losing that much by losing it, right? Like, it's... It's nowhere near close to minimum wage. <laughs> so, the fact that I won't be able to stream Blood Bowl, you know, the Blood Bowl on Twitch will, like, pretty much die, I think. Well, I thought that, but I don't think it will. I think the people that are here will stay in Blood Bowl 2, honestly. I think Blood Bowl 3 is that bad that it's not the death of... Like, I thought... Blood Bowl 3 guaranteed the death of of Blood Bowl 2. But it's somehow so unbelievably terrible that I think it hasn't. So there you go. 
brilliant. Another one. What's that song where like he just keeps going another one all the time? That should be my uh, Blood Bowl anthem. There's two people that can. Yeah, DJ Khaled, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> the troll has been terrible. Absolutely terrible. One was like stupid off field of GFI like five turns, the other did nothing and then and then has been out the heat. Yeah, Blood Bowl three is the yeah, Blood Bowl three. Rebel used to think they were the thing keeping Blood Bowl two alive. Now it's Blood Bowl three will be the thing keeping Blood Bowl two alive. Yeah, so you know, maybe Maybe Blood Bowl 2 will be alright. I think, you know, I think there'll, there'll be this week or so of Blood Bowl 3, right, where everybody will want to be milking Blood Bowl 3. Like, everyone has to, pretty much, right? Everyone pretty much has to, while they can. And then, and then once it goes back down to normal levels, I think it'll be a mass, a mass exodus back to Blood Bowl 2. Stay there for about six months. Well, the three months time they'll have season one, right? There'll be another little surge. So then people will go back for the little surge. Then the little surge will die down. Then they'll go back for the little surge three months after that. And then eventually in one of them it, it won't die down as much and then everyone will move to Blood Bowl 3. That's what I think. But I don't think it will die. I don't think Blood Bowl 2 will die yet. I really don't think it will, and I, I was certain it would die. Like, it's already been dying. Like, it's already been dying for the last season and, and a bit before that. But particularly this last season was terrible for Blood Bowl 2. Yeah, do you know what? Bizarrely, Jack Bull, I think you're right. I think it should hinge on it being not a fucking trash an absolutely trash horrific experience to play that's what it should hinge on but i think people will play it no matter how bad it is no matter how fucking bad it is i think people will play it if they can and it's trash it's the worst game i have ever seen in my entire life. That's not even a fucking exaggeration because I have not seen menus like Blood Bowl 3 menus ever, ever. That saturation, dodge. <laughs> the saturation and the darkness and the brightness, the contrast, it's its not like anything. I, that worst websites ever that, that Skuro linked wasn't as bad. its It's unbelievable how bad it is. Unbelievable. Fucking unbelievable. Yeah, it doesn't have a pause function yet. Uh, it doesn't have a multiplayer pause. It has like single player. It has a single player, like, you know, you can look at settings, but it doesn't have a. It doesn't have a. Uh, it doesn't have a, like, pause and multiplayer. Which, to be fair, why would a multiplayer have a pause, right? Like, it's. I guess do all multiplayer turn based, like once it's turn based I guess you can have a pause. Like you'd never have a pause in uh Oh you can pause in, in Madden and stuff, can't you? Yeah. But like, you couldn't pause can you pause in Rocket League? Surely not with there being so many people. And like what's it called? TFT? TFT surely you can't pause in that. And wouldn't expect it. To be able to have a pause in Fortnite, like you can't do that, can you? All hundred people all pause at the same time. But turn-based games should have a pause, yeah. 
Yeah. You, you can you can pause in Madden, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But then you do have... That's a bit turn-based, isn't it? Because you have, like, the selecting the players thing. So, like, there's kind of, like... A, there's kind of, like, already a... Some kind of an element of it in, in Madden, in a way. Oh, I literally, yeah, I didn't, didn't get into the assist spot. Fuck me. Hello, Goliath. It isn't. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, exactly right. So, they're, they're aiming for... They're aiming for, yeah, just like a demographic that exists. That, that, that you know, the, the biggest demographic probably is console players playing things for fun. But unfortunately, they aren't going to buy your game. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you know, like there are there are supermodels in the world <laughs> but they're not gonna fuck you. <laughs> right Going for the loss. Very honourable. Nah, wouldn't Benny bad Tez. I haven't got time, like that's the thing. It's like I don't wanna GG. <laughs> oh lucky bastard, he fit. He passed all of, he passed all eleven. He's passed nineteen in a row. And I passed all eight. Uh, now nah, honestly, like I Mr. Yemendem got me uh War Tales. I really wanted to try that just for him, you know, but like I wouldn't have bought it myself. But then on the other hand, I only played Harry Potter because Tony got me it and I wouldn't, I would have said no to that, <laughs> honestly, but it has been fun, so who knows. But then it just happened that it was an okay time to play it. Riot, yet another turn, oh, real good chance to make this a win. Let's go. But the thing is, see... He got us it because it's like Battle Brothers. But I've already got Battle Brothers. And I like Battle Brothers. And I don't I don't feel the need to play a different game. Let's see is quite good, isn't it? Because it would give different Things and in terms of follow-up, it was quite acceptable. This was a bad block. Should have done the safe moves before this. The safe moves I absolutely could have made, such as him coming out to here. Couldn't move him because he wanted to do the follow-up hit potentially. But these, these, all these other moves could have been made first. But yeah, the country wizard has been fun to be fair. Boing, boing, boing. <sighs> yeah, the Country Wizard has been fun, honestly. Oh my god, some of the things where, like... You've, there's, there's this little goblin and he's got a pet. He's got a pet that's been captured by poachers. And you rescue it. And you can just keep it, and you just say, fuck you, I'm keeping it. <laughs> and the guy, like... <laughs> this poor goblin's, like, heartbroken. He's, he's over the moon that you've rescued his pet. And then you're like, actually, I'm going to keep it. 
He's devastated. That's the most fun I've had playing a video game in a long time. <laughs> Absolute magic. <laughs> the magic of Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks doodle there was also like a really sad part where where somebody had died and it was like really sad so it's been pretty good it's, been, it's a pretty good game <sighs> right i'm gonna do this this is a bit stupid here but I'm going to do it anyway because it's sterile and I like the taste. And I want it. See, this is the thing, right? Now, I am a slave to the meta and can only do safe moves and can't think of these incredible things. But this is one of the things where you know your, right, you know your goblins, right? You know that your sh team is shit. So you have to do something a bit shit, which is a 1D. But it gets you a 3D, which gets you... A mighty blow hit. An advancement far down the sideline, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And amazingly, good players can do that. <laughs> While still being slaves to the meta of block is a good skill. And rat ogres don't make good ball carriers. <laughs> it's outrageous, isn't it, Stop. As somebody who never plays goblins either, you know? Like, that's the thing. It's funny, isn't it? Though, of course... As I say, people just as good as me would be better if they played more, you know. Like, obviously, I'd be better with goblins if I played more goblins, right? Like, obviously, I would be. But a lot of it is Blood Bowl, isn't it, as well? Like, a lot of it is just Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was brilliant. Yeah, the gift from the Mer people, yeah. <laughs> and kept it, put back relations taken. I've kept everything. Everything I've been allowed to keep, I've kept. <laughs> Proper country wizard. It's been great. Yeah, fair enough, Daedle, fair enough. How old Tumption is? Yep, I'm the only one left. Thanks to Skrull Dude, to be fair. <laughs> Thank you very much, Skrull Dude. The absolute king of SFL. Squirrel dude. Some might say it's the winner 3589, but we all know it's Squirrel dude. He's almost certainly going to be the winner 3589. <laughs> Fucking Nick. Man, I got a bit diced in that game. But I did make a mistake, so fair enough. Hmm. That is annoying, isn't it? That is annoying, to be honest. So now it's how much can I get these guys back involved to do something. Maybe just... Uh... Recover him with a 2D. Yeah, boy. I could have just recovered him. Obviously, that's probably better to just recover it. 
but don't care. How sensible is this player here? Probably quite sensible. In the grand scheme of sensible players, this play is probably rather sensible. movement left I could have assisted with him and then I could have uh, got him away anyway. Really nice. Now everybody knows what a big brain I have. <laughs> That's the most important thing of chains. <laughs> I wanted to uphill him and then surf him, but three five eight level player. Why? Thank you. He can't come round the back door here, so I think it's better to be one square back there. Fair that one in nine. Brilliant. I did quite like that, to be honest. <laughs> but that, that the thing is, the way Blood Bowl is, those are the only kind of players that you can say, oh, they're quite good players, aren't they? Like, whereas everything else, like the individual players aren't that good. The, the, best, the best play I've seen in this chalice was like one of Chunter's turns against Tom, um, where he just made a really good formation. But like, that's not super exciting, is it? Do you know what I mean? Like, like, if you took a screenshot before Chunter's turn and after his turn, you wouldn't say, oh, what a play, guys, that's amazing. Do you know what I mean? But it, like, it was super good, the, the formation that, that Chunter managed to get his, like, seven, six or seven players in. It was, like, super good. Super good. It was a super good turn. Oh, baby. Double one. Not a double one. Diced. I've got no idea what that one is, Daedle, to be honest. But I thought the Chunter one was memorable because I thought that was really nice. <laughs> Right, do we uphill here to scoop down the sideline? Definitely not blitzing. It's a stand -up. Maybe I should just do it last. If I uphill him. And then it gives me three players to run through with him. If I assist there, then they've all got one in nine dodge through. The uphill's kind of safe in terms of fail state. Could also try and dodge him twice to make it a 1D. That's kind of okay, isn't it? Instant one in nine. And that's the game over. Well, I wouldn't say it's got a limited capacity for big brain chain plays. It's just, it's got limited opportunities to like 
say this is good, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like just, I don't know, just like visible, visible skill, visible skills. Do you know what I mean? Like if you watch a football game and you see some fucker dribbling it past five people, you're like, holy shit, that's amazing. No matter how good you are, right? If you see like a dart player hit a bullseye, you're like, wow, that's amazing. It's, someone hits a fucking eagle, you're like, wow, he's meant to take five, but he's done it in three or whatever. And then, uh, but like, if someone kicks, you know, someone scores a 60 yard field goal in, in American football, like they've got things that just like are obviously like kind of good, aren't they? Whereas what's good in Blood Bowl? Fuck off, Jimmy. Finding a solution to a tricky problem. Basically, but that's 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 rare, isn't it? Most because most turns don't have tricky problems, and most turns are just like solid positioning of eleven players, and that solid positioning of like seven, six, or seven or eight players, however many it was from Chunter, was like was one of the times where like that was a really that was a really exciting positioning of of his whole team, but mostly you just don't get to see that. Mostly it's just solid. And that's it. Unremarkable, isn't it? Yeah, remark the remarkable players are the sexy chain pushers and one turns, well, then one turns are chain pushers as well, probably, aren't they? Some two turn scores, I guess, are, uh, can be good the way people get through and screen them and stuff. It's hard though. This is fucked now, isn't it, by the way? That really needed that those, that those dodges not fail. Like, if I pop dodge in the first one. Then uh, I'm not sure I make the second one. I might have just then done the uphill with the reroll to get people to scoot down the side. This is pretty fucked now, isn't it? The good thing was I wasn't losing the ball instantly. So the ball is not, has not been lost instantly. I think now the play is hand off to him and run all the way. Hand off to him and run all the way. He cannot be caught. So we can hand off to him and run all the way. Now how the hell do we get it to him? Probably dodge one D. I mean, all of the turns were uh, are pretty good, right? Like that's the thing with good players; pretty much all of the turns are pretty good. But it's just they're just not easy to see that they're good, especially for people who aren't as good as the people doing the turns. <laughs> it's why everybody thinks they know better than like football managers, don't they? Because you don't see what they do, and you know everyone thinks politicians are idiots and stuff like that, don't they? Because you just don't know what's involved in stuff. Oh, well. That was pretty good. I really like this because I'm completely out of range of his whole team, aren't I? If I can hand off and then run up. Like, I just needed that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Then there's a one. So I had a three plus with a reroll, then a two plus with a reroll. And there was no way he could have got back, even base me. Oh, he could have based me with this guy. In that case, maybe I should have blocked him first, actually. But I guess I could have always dodged him for the for the I could have dodged somebody for the to help him and then hit him. So I, I still had that extra dodge to make. So it was probably better to not make that one in mind first. Could chain him for a chance. Potentially, potentially chain him. Yeah, like that's the thing. There's a lot of like good turns, right? You know, if you watch the game from like, say, Ducky, probably most of his turns would be close to close to good, <laughs> but they're not going to be comment worthy, are they? Because they're just not fancy.
Well, Tom Schneers, the fact that the, the reason people ask for Blood Bowl 7s in the Discord is because they are dummies. That is the answer. That is the simple answer there. Because I guess it's a, it's a, you know, it's quicker games, and I guess they think of it as a way to teach new players and stuff. I've never played Blood Bowl Sevens. I have played Five Aside before. Um, all right. So okay, oh, everyone's asking for it, are they? But you know, like. I wouldn't ask them it because I'm sensible, you know? Like, it's more work. It's a ver barely relevant thing. Yes, in your dream version of the game, it would have Blood Bowl 7s in because why wouldn't it? It's an extra thing. But even then, it would split the player... Like, anything that threatens to split the, split the player base isn't necessarily good, is it? Do you know what I mean? So... So anything like that isn't isn't necessarily very good anyway. GG. I mean, there's a chance here, right? Not a good one, but there's a chance. GFI Woohoo Glorious Glorious victory pretty satisfying and it wasn't even like a good play was it like there was only one play you can make that turn you hit him out of the way so that the troll can move and then you pick up and the tackle zone handoff wasn't big brain or anything but it was fun oh yeah fun when they work oh god so there you go what a game what a oh. game guys um Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude, for, for making this happen. <laughs> Thanks for watching, what everyone. Hilda? What the hell is that? I am stuck under the bench. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.